What's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, though. Back again with another reaction. We got a video that's been in my uh, watch later for, I would say, a couple of months. I I, I just haven't found the time to uh, react to it, you know what I'm saying? But we got, what if you fell into Jupiter? Who is this by again? I forgot who this is from. Oh, it's what if, you know what I'm saying? They be having some, like, history bangers, some space bangers, you know what I'm saying? But uh, before we get into this, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for daily bangers by your boy, though, you know what I'm saying? What you're seeing isn't a watercolor painting in motion. In fact, it's the planet Jupiter. For the most part, this gas giant is a mystery. So what would happen if you wanted to discover it for yourself and jumped right onto the planet? Or should we say into? Because Jupiter doesn't have a surface, just what? a seemingly endless stretch of atmosphere. Would you fall straight through? What would you see on your way? And how would it make you feel? Does it have a core? This is what if. And here's what would happen if you fell into Jupiter. If you attempted to jump into Jupiter wearing a standard spacesuit, it'd be over for you pretty quickly. First of all, you wouldn't even make it to the planet. Roughly 300,000 kilometers from Jupiter, radiation would penetrate your suit and you'd die. But that's a boring what if. We'll give you a special spacesuit that can survive the fall for now. Here's where the real fun begins. At first, you'll be falling from the top of the atmosphere at nearly 180,000 kilometers per hour. That's a lot faster than you'd fall from the top of Earth's atmosphere because Jupiter's gravity is much stronger than Earth's. You'd still be able to see the sun, but don't expect it to heat you up. At about 250 kilometers down, you'd reach the ammonia clouds and experience temperatures what? of minus 150 degrees. Now, get ready for the most epic whirlpool of your life. Jupiter's clouds create powerful winds up to 482 kilometers per hour. You'd feel Bro, as if you were in one giant fuck? colorful tornado. That's because Jupiter is the fastest rotating planet in our solar system. Bro, this is crazy, bro. What? So you'll be, it'll be cold as hell first off. So I'll be freezing my ass off. Then it's going to be spinning hella fast. You know what I'm saying? I can barely, you know what I'm saying? You remember when in, in, in elementary school, when y'all had field day in fifth grade? Y'all remember this. And y'all used to do the uh, little games. Y'all used to get in the, uh, the potato sack and then get to the finish line. Or you used to spin on the uh, baseball bat and then hit the baseball. I could, I could barely even do that. I could barely spin for 20 seconds, 10 seconds. Let alone be in space and spinning. What? If they said 452. What? It was something. I, I forgot what it was. Kilo, kilometers? Was it kilometers? An hour? One day on the planet is that sound nine fast. and a half Earth hours. Let's go down about 120 kilometers more. Congratulations. This is the deepest that any exploration has ever sailed into the gas giant. In 1995, NASA's Galileo probe made it this far before it was destroyed by the pressure of Jupiter's atmosphere. Wow. But don't worry, that's not happening to you. You've got the suit. The further you travel, the darker it will get until it's completely pitch black. The only source of light you'll have will be from the lightning storms happening all around you. What At the this point, fuck? the temperature will start to increase, and it might even feel comfortable if it weren't for the immense physical pressure you'll be feeling. The pressure you'd experience is more than 1,000 times higher than on the surface of the Earth. The only way you'll be able to survive is if your spacesuit was built as strong as the deepest diving submarine of all time. So wait a second, you telling me I'm going through it. I'm going through it. I go from cold and it's windy to I'm burning. Bruh. Nah, bruh. I, I, first of all, it's, it's gonna be hot as hell. I'll probably, uh, I, like, if we compare it to now, I'll probably be dead by then. Uh, then, you telling me it's lightning? I don't see nothing but lightning? Oh, nah, nah. By now, yeah. you've been falling for 12 keep that hours. Space stuff, and bro. let's be honest, I ain't gonna you're lie. getting a little bored. You'd probably want to radio someone to come and get you. Well, that's too bad. That's an impossibility inside Jupiter, since radio waves get absorbed this deep into the planet's atmosphere. You'll just have to keep falling. The temperature will keep rising, what and so the? will the pressure. 
As you reach the inner layers of Jupiter, there'll be parts that you'll be able to swim through. A substance that's swim not or gas known as supercritical fluid. Moving through this strange material, the temperature will get even hotter. Oh, Eventually, no. it will be equivalent to the surface of the sun. If that isn't enough, you'll also be experiencing pressure equal to 2 million times the pressure on Earth. Metallic hydrogen will begin to form and you'll be surrounded by it. This relatively unknown substance can be a dense liquid that you won't be able to escape from. If you do manage to escape, you'd be falling through it for thousands of kilometers until you reach Jupiter's core, possibly a solid object. Some scientists predict it is due to the immense pressure at this level in the planet. Regardless of what it is, if you somehow did manage to survive all this, you'd be stuck on it from all the atmospheric pressure. Not a very rewarding trip. Maybe we should leave the planet as a beautiful mystery. But if you do ever manage to fall into Jupiter and get nah. stuck, let's hope you have nah. a few more what if videos to keep you. Bro, imagine that, bro. Imagine you in space. You get through all the. You're not. You're, you're most likely not. But let's say if. You know what I'm saying? Like, what if? You get through all of these obstacles, man. And then you stuck on Jupiter with 2 million times the pressure from Earth. On you stuck on something you can't move off of. That is tough. What the hell? Nah, bro. That's crazy. Company. That's it. Oh, my God, bro. Bro, this is... Hey, man. I think this this might be better than any you know what I'm saying, science class. You know what I'm saying? This is... I love these type of videos, bro. I'm telling you. But shout out to... uh, What If for the banger video, man. But YouTube, I'm out of here, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Comment other videos I should watch next. And uh, I got you on the flip.